guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Big Al. All right, today what we got here in the shop is a 2014 uh, tab clamshell with water intrusion around the door that's rotted the floor. So come on in here, let's take a look and I'll show you what we got going on here. All right, I know the owner, I talked to them. I said, how did water get in here? I thought it was from around this door sill. They said, no, they left their door open a couple of times, water soaked on the floor and ruined the plywood. But we did go ahead and check this sill to make sure it's intact and it is. The problem is because the door was left open and then they've got this soft floor right here. You see that? It's very soft. So I'm trying to save the vinyl floor, save them some money. So what I did was just cut along both sides of this trim where the vinyl is. And then we're just gonna pick this up and roll it back on this piece of wood so it doesn't leave a crease in it and so we can see our problem here as you can see it's all all this plywood it has delaminated and it's history and that's what people are feeling when they step in here that springiness so we got to get rid of that so what I'm going to use is right here is my Dremel tool with this blade on it and I'm going to cut just barely through this all the way around remove this piece and match it up with the same thickness and glue it down and then put our floor back down and if I need to I'll run a little bit of quarter round shoe mold to cover up where I cut it but I don't even think that's going to show once you put your cabinet doors back on here but anyway let's go ahead and get this out and see what we got and then we'll go from there <laughs> Okay guys, so I've got the underlayment out, which is your 3 8 Luon right here. I've got that cut back. Now we're down to the subfloor, and as you can see, there's also rot down in the subfloor area. And if you see the heads of these bolts right here, that's what's holding the steps up. So when you step on it, you'll see this whole piece of wood just gives way. But we definitely got to fix that. This has to go and this has to go. And we're gonna put in new subfloor and tile that into the frame structurally to make these steps solid and then give us a good base for our new Luon underlayment. So let's get that out and see what we got next. So a little trick getting these carriage bolts out since they're completely rusted. I'm just gonna cut a groove in it so we can wedge a toodle in here. If you see how I did this one right here, and then I can, I can remove it from below. So let me just go ahead and cut that groove real quick. And then my assistant can hold this from above while I remove it from below. Okay, so we've got all the rotted subfloor out. Here's picture of it right here of some of it it's even rotted on the bottom side so you see right here it's where the bolts went through for the steps so it's kind of an interesting design because if you look how they had that in there the only structural support underneath here is this right here and this right here everything else has no support so I'm going to put a metal lip right underneath here all the way back that's it right there it's gonna run up underneath this edge right here to carry that subfloor so it'll have more to rest on back in here it's okay but we, we got to be able to bolt those steps back in and they got to be nice and solid so we're going to add that i think it's going to be a nice little upgrade then we're going to uh, put a vapor barrier down put our subfloor down and then we're going to bond our uh, underlayment on top of that and glue that vinyl down. We'll show you how all that looks when we're done. Okay, as you can see under the RV, I've got this reinforcing strip mounted all the way down in front of the door. And we'll just quickly come up, look inside. You can see now that there's a ledge right here for that subfloor to lay on. So vapor barrier goes in. Subfloor goes down, 
and the Luan laminate goes over the top. So we're almost home free, folks. We'll show you when, right before we put the laminate down. Subfloor is in, steps are in. Everything's ready for the uh, Luan underlayment to go down. We'll do that and then we'll put the vinyl back down and we'll be done. Okay, now we've used some uh, pre-mixed floor packs to fill in that little joint between the repair and the old flooring. Just using any off the shelf pre-mixed floor patch. Next thing to do is put our adhesive down, put the flooring back over and then caulk the joints. Okay, everyone. This job is complete. The vinyl floor has been glued back down with just a universal uh, underlayment vinyl flooring adhesive. So that is all finished up. And now what you've all been waiting for, my Big Al tip of the day. When you start this project, make sure you have these two tools in your arsenal. One is a roto zip for cutting metal out of the way, bolts off that are rusted. The tool is invaluable. The other one is a Dremel multi-tool. It's great for cutting in close quarters, getting that rotted wood out of there. It has multiple blades and it's a great tool to have in your arsenal. Alrighty, well that's gonna end it for this job here. So until next time, safe travel. <laughs> <laughs>